Electronic baseball games have come a long way, and it all started with this one. Baseball by Microelectronics, from all accounts, was made around 1976. There's not a lot of information on this game, but it appears that it could be one of the first commercially available electronic baseball games. When Pong machines were all the rage, this game provided an alternative to the moving ball and paddles on the TV set. The box indicates that this computerized baseball game is portable and does not require a TV. The instructions show that it was manufactured by Microelectronics in Hong Kong and distributed by LJN Toys Limited. LJN was an American toy company and video game publisher based in New York City, founded in 1970. All I know about LJN is that they published some sports games on the NES that were not very good. LGN was acquired by MCA in 1985, sold to Acclaim in 1990, and dissolved in 1995. The packaging and instructions boast some impressive features for the day. Computer simulation of the game of baseball. Manage your own team. Use pinch hitters and relief pitchers with a touch of a button. Use change-ups and fastballs and outguess your opponent and use competition and strategy of real baseball. The game takes six D-cell batteries, and once in, the unit feels very substantial and sturdy. Although the box says it's portable, it's not a handheld game and would be played on a table. The game looks great and mimics a baseball stadium with the field and grandstands and a huge scoreboard. The play field includes buttons and switches for playing the game. Each base and the pitcher's mound has a small red bulb that lights up indicating the pitcher and base runners. The scoreboard is impressive and has a lot of information on it. It keeps the score, the innings, outs, and who's at bat. It also keeps track of pinch hitters and relief pitchers that are used for strategy. In the middle of the scoreboard, there's a table with events that randomly light up when the bat button is pressed. The events include out, walk, single, double, triple, sacrifice fly, double play, and home run. The basic baseball rules apply. Try and score more runs than your opponent in nine innings. When pitching, you have three speeds to choose from, slow, normal, and fast. Once the pitch button is pressed, the display in the center of the scoreboard will begin cycling through possible events. The other player pushes the bat button, and an event will stop on either a hit, where a crowd noise will sound, or an out with a buzzer sound. The unique feature this game has is its strategy. Each team's batting average is 270. However, you have three pinch hitters at your disposal that bat at 400. So in theory, you can substitute these batters for a better chance of getting a hit. However, your opponent could bring in a relief pitcher. When you use one of your two relief pitchers, the other team's batter has less of a chance to get a safe hit. The relief pitchers are only that, relief. You can only face five batters this way. This strategy is what makes this game fun and not just a random score fest. For a game that is almost 45 years old, it's amazing that it's still quite fun to play. Overall, this early tabletop baseball game is a great example of the handheld electronic sports games that came after it.